town and county officials walk the tightrope between public and economic health. Phil Lindemann, Crystal 93 News. First, the word of the week is vaccine. Now we're looking towards the next important, optimistic, hopeful, exciting phase, the triumph of modern science. And now the logistical process around administering the vaccine across our entire state. That was Governor Jared Polis from a press conference today. Starting as soon as next week, Colorado gets 1.69% of every weekly vaccine shipment from the federal government. Our slice of the U.S. population, about 142,000 doses. That's the maximum number of doses Colorado can get. That's our allocation. We obviously want more uh, and we expect more over time, but that will be the initial amount. Summit County gets a sliver of the Colorado shipment. Sarah Lopez with Summit Public Health. There's strategies that they're weighing, but they will be implemented uniformly, it feels, at the, the national, state, and then, of course, the local level. Doctors and nurses with direct COVID contact are first in line, followed this spring by at-risk populations, including grocery workers and teachers. General public comes this summer. All timing and dosing, though, depends on the feds. This vaccine is really the gateway to the end of the pandemic to return to normalcy. So let's double down in the next few weeks and months. Wear a mask around others. It's like a 50% effective vaccine that we have today. Reduces your chances in half of getting the virus. CDPHE reviews Summit's level red shutdown status next Friday, December 18th. And local officials do not believe we will qualify for new capacity limits by Christmas. This week on the State of Summit. 2021 is unknown at this point, and really 2020 was unknown for a lot of the budgeting process. That was Mayor Carolyn Scavira of Dillon on the headache of balancing a budget in the time of COVID. The summer months were strong. You know, the shutdown was bad, the spring was hard, but the summer months were good. So we think if that continues next year, we, we might be able to maintain that middle of the road. Hope. For Summit County, spending next year will be flat after growing about nine and a half million dollars annually from 2016 to this year. County Manager Scott Vargo. So essentially keeping our expenditures where they had been um, for 2020 in 2021. Most towns froze hiring while the county added new positions for public health and safety mostly, walking the economic tightrope. We really are trying to do what we can to balance economic impacts with the public health impacts and trying to provide support where those academic impacts are, are showing up. Tune in again next Wednesday for the State of Summit on Crystal 93. Town of Breckenridge has named six locals to its first ever Social Equity Commission. Says new commission member Alexandria Carnes, I wish to serve with humility, kinship, and grace, working closely with town council. 41 people applied, inspired by solidarity demonstrations and marches this summer, here locally and nationally. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, you've still got time to sign up for Uller Bike, the opening race of a four-part virtual fat bike series. Uller Bike is this coming Saturday, December 12th at Gold Run Nordic Center in Breck. Get your details at mavsports.com. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.